need to be able to keep the charges of the electrolytes roughly constant. And this is what a salt bridge does. For every positively charged ion that leaves the electrolyte, a positively charged ion must enter, meaning the net charge doesn't change. And for every positively charged ion that enters the electrolyte, a negatively charged ion must also enter. A salt bridge is used that contains ions that can move freely between both half cells, but won't interfere with the oxidation and reduction occurring. Salts like potassium nitrate are often used as potassium, K+, and nitrate, NO3- ions, are really hard to oxidize and reduce, meaning they won't interfere with the reactions occurring. In a simple example, they can be made by soaking filter paper in a solution of the salt to be used, and each end of the soaked filter paper is placed into each half cell. The filter paper acts as a sponge and the ions can move across its surface, in and out of each half cell, to keep the overall charges of each electrolyte largely constant.